All right, hey, let's take a look at uh, Matthew 5, uh, 48 in the Sermon on the Mount. And, uh, you know, Jesus has just finished giving a bunch of illustrations about what he's talking about in terms of our righteousness should exceed that of the Pharisees, meaning our righteousness is a righteousness of the heart, not just a righteousness about following certain, uh, you know, laws. And, um, and he ends it with, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, <laughs> which I love this. This is so powerful. And uh, of course, you know, just in case you thought that none of the examples he gave applies to you, he just whacks you with this. Now be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. In other words, I could go on and on and on. I could apply the same idea to every area of your heart and life. God's heart is perfect all the time in every situation so let your heart always be perfect all right and listen um if god is the standard then nobody can boast and it really is important to recognize that god is our standard listen being a better person than the guy next to you or being better than your friends or better than your co-workers or better than non-believers is a ridiculous and silly boast None of them are the standard by which you and I or anybody is measured. God is the standard and he is perfect in every way. You know, even Jesus didn't let himself, didn't let other people call him good, even though he was good and without sin. Now, I think this, this command to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect is one of the most powerful commands of Jesus. And let me explain to you why I think that. Number one, it puts our eyes on God. He is perfect and therefore he is worthy of our admiration and our imitation. In other words, he is worthy of our worship. And it's also this command humbles us because it forces us to acknowledge our own imperfection. It humbles us by putting us all on equal footing before God. You cannot look at your brother or your sister and think you are better than them, okay? But it also gives us hope that being like God is possible. Otherwise, why would Jesus tell you to be perfect? And lastly, it pushes us into faith because it is only possible through God's grace. You can't be perfect just by your own strength and intellect and your just own inherent goodness and your own ability to even change your own heart. It is the only way you can move towards or even embrace this command to be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect is if you just fully throw yourself at the feet of Jesus and completely rely on the grace of God. In other words, you allow Christ to do this work in you and through you. And so this command just pushes you right into that place of faith in Jesus. One of the most powerful commands. I love it. All right, God bless you guys.